Well, hello again. Thank you for stopping by. Today's video is going to be all about this tacket method that's breaking the internet. We're going to be doing an alternative. So don't run out and buy all this expensive stuff yet because we know when something is popular, the price goes up. You don't have to do all that. You probably have something you can use in your house right now. This video, we're going to do the E6000 spray adhesive method. All right, hello again. Today is the tutorial I promised on using E6000 spray adhesive as a tacket method alternative. Now my pump is broken. Well, it's not broken, it's clogged and that's a problem I know a lot of you've mentioned in the group. Um, so what I've done with mine is I just put it in this little jar and it works perfectly since I use it mostly with a brush. Alright, so what I do, I'm just going to jump right into it. In order to get the holographic effects with this amazing glitter, Wishful Thinking from Painted Valley Designs. Yeah, I love this stuff. It's not even an ultra or super fine glitter. It's just fine. It's amazing and even in the jar, it's super holographic and lasery. Alright, take out your... This, I'm using a makeup brush. I'll have the link in the description below. Um, I love makeup brushes because the bristles are really soft. They're thin bristles and I never get streaks. Even when I'm using Mod Podge, I don't get streaks like I would if I were using a regular paint brush. All right, so I just dip it, dip the brush into the jar a little bit. Then I recap it because this stuff dries pretty quickly. <clears throat> now you're just gonna Paint on your adhesive. A little goes a pretty long way. And then you're going to wait a little while for it to get tacky. So we're still a little wet here. And now I have my brush in some water because again, this stuff dries pretty quickly. So you want to make sure you rinse your brush off because you do not want this stuff to dry on your brush. Treat it like Mod Podge. Try not to let it dry. Also with this method, see here, you, can, you see those streaks? Sometimes you just, you just got to babysit them. And spread them out. Admittedly, it is more work than using the Tacket stuff, but it's worth it. If you don't have access to the Tacket adhesive, I mean, it's not your only option. So using a different method is gonna open up your or using the same method with a different adhesive just opens your table for create for further creativity you know and that's what this is all about being creative and making things work in a non-traditional way which is one thing I love about crafting and that's my only objective with showing you guys these different methods is just to let you know that you don't have to run out and buy the latest fad product to achieve a certain look because who does who wants to do that like all these places are now out of stock of this stuff that nobody knew existed <laughs> not too long ago people would buy it to restick their mats yeah but now the people are jacking up the prices like tenfold it's ridiculous but I'm just here to show you that it's not your only option all right, so that was the E6000. It's pretty clear. And if we have a tacky surface. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. So now comes glitter time. All right, so 
what I do because I don't want to waste too much. <laughs> I'm just going to dump some on and rub it in as I do it. Um, this way I'm not like having too much fall off because I feel like that's a little wasteful because once this touches this glue any of the glue comes off with it it's like contaminating your glitter and I'm just lightly brushing it on I'm not even pushing down on it I'm just there's like zero weight on my finger And there might be spots that show up where the glue is has dried too much or it ran and uh, there's no glue there and that's okay. You can very easily go over it a second time. Now I'm just making sure I get anything that's lifting up. Or anything that's not flat, I'm just using my finger. And now I'm just, just gonna, this is like burnishing, like I'm polishing it. Just really making sure there's nothing loose. And that it's all flat and really in the glue. can see on here that the gold the where the gold was you get much more much better coverage than the white but it still looks pretty awesome and I'm, I'm handling it like you wouldn't be able to do this with epoxy <laughs> with the epoxy method nope but it's all good Now, I guess I could do, I'll do a second coating <clears throat> so that I can cover this part well. It's kind of tacky here, so I guess not tacky enough. Let's see what happens when I just try to get that part. Doing the same process with the brush, dipping it in the E6000. Just a little bit. Like I said, a little goes a long way. And I'm brushing. Actually, you know what? Let's do the whole cup. See what a second coat looks like. Mind you, this was, was not prepared correctly. This is just for the sake of this video to show you all the technique. And um, that's it. One of the questions that I've gotten a lot is, will this work with regular glitter? It will. However, with the glitter being flat, regular glitter will not be as sparkly because there are less facets for the light to bounce off of. So keep that in mind, but it will work and it'll look amazing.
Do you have a super holographic -y tumbler? I would say give every method a shot and see what works best for you. Thanks for watching and please, if you do this, share your creation and your results in our group at Tumblr Universe. We love to see everyone's work and their inspirations. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the bell button and subscribe.